At this stage, we've completed a series of design models as well as design drawings. We're going to now organize these into releases and submit them for permit. Let's change our view to releases. We'll create a new release and we'll set the release name to for permit. We'll then change the due date and now we're going to assign this release to specific user groups. Let's go ahead and first assign this to the owner. Then we'll assign this to the permitting agency. We can then type any additional notes and then press the submit button. We'll now see this release in the open category. Now I'll go back to the Explorer view and we're going to select the files that we'd like to associate to this particular release. Here I've selected a PDF binder of drawings. I'll then go ahead and say add files to release. It will then allow me to select which release that I'd like to associate this to and I'll press submit. When I then go back to releases, select the for permit release, we'll see here that this PDF binder is now included in this release. Once we have all the files added to this particular release, we can come over here to the right hand side of the screen and press the send button. This is going to then move that release from open to the sent category. Once the release has been sent, an automated email transmittal is sent to all the recipients. We can then scroll down here and we'll see a link in the email which will then open us up to that particular project as well as open us up to the releases page. When we then go underneath received, we can see this particular permit, and then we can go ahead and proceed to download the documents associated with that release. Once the release has been downloaded, we can extract the contents from the zip file, and then here we can browse the files and the folder structure, which matches exactly what was on the cloud.